Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, so today what we're going to be doing, mess around with some uh, shot shell stuff, um, some nine mil, some 22 long rifle, and then a 410 number six shot. Uh, the guns we're going to be using is a Glock here, it's an RTF2 frame, uh, Steel City nine mil, and then it's got a um, Faxon threaded barrel th uh, Glock 34 length, and then I also have the uh, Swamp Fox Justice on there. So that's what we're gonna be using for the nine mil. We're gonna see how it works in the 22, I mean the Glock 44, 22 long rifle to see if it actually, I doubt it will cycle, but no, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna use a Rough Rider Heritage. Um, it's a pretty cool little gun. Got a half cock it so you can get rounds in there. And then um, we're going to go over here to the Rossi. It's, uh, it's pretty cool because you can swap the Four, the two the 22 long rifle barrels on there now and then i'll go through how to take it apart and swap it out and put the 22 on there so our targets we're going to be using have my daughter take some paper plates and put and just kind of like draw snakes some are roughly inch and a half to an inch wide so what i'm going to start with first is i want to go here put my plate on the ground and this ain't scientific by no means but i'm going to be standing roughly you know, it's a, a safe distance away. So probably from the barrel to the target, the snake, is going to be roughly five feet, five to six feet. I'm just putting that piece of wood there because it's starting to get windy and we're starting to get a little bit of rain because that Isaiah ass or however you say that freaking tropical storm hurricanes ended up this way. So we're going to go ahead and get moving with it. So I'm going to go with the nine mil first. I already know that these don't cycle nine mil. They just don't have the, the arse. They just don't have the power. So I actually know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one regular nine mil round and load it. And then I'm gonna shoot it first. So you see how small the nine mil hole is. And then we'll shoot with the shot shell snake shot or whatever all right you got your ears on bud yes all right so here we go so i'm gonna say this this is here is gonna be where i put the target every time okay roughly by that mark and i'm gonna be standing about here okay so so pretty much there's a snake you want to shoot it all right there you go as you can see the hole it did to the what it did to the ground and that's all you got right there. So you have to be pretty accurate. All right. You gotta be pretty accurate to get the snake with that stuff. All right, so we go back here. And so now it's the shot shell, okay. Well, it locked back. So, yeah, who knows, maybe it would actually cycle. So, and there you go. So you see this, the one hole, right? But you see how big the spread is? So that's the, uh, the, I'll show you in a second. That's the little capsule that all this was in. Okay, so that was the actual ball around. And this is all the pellets. I forgot how many pellets is in there, but it's a freaking lot. But as you can see, if you're shooting a snake, it's going to cover a lot. And look how many actually hit the snakes. So you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got about nine out of the two, do two three dozen pellets that hit the snake. All right, so that's clear. So all right, now we're gonna move up to the 22. All right. So I'm gonna go here, place the 22. Pretty much same spot. All right. So I'm gonna take the Glock 44. And this is, I'm, the first shot is gonna be the uh, 22 long rifle. So you actually see the, the size of that hole. The second shot will be the CCI shell, shot shell. And then the third shot will be the, um, this here, the federal 25 grain number 12 lead shot. All right, so we'll get this loaded. So 
So last shot, go put it there. Oh look, I can actually load it without using the uh, load assist things. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And they're not nose diving. Oh, look at that. All right, so we go over here. All right, so here goes, so I got my mark right here. So here goes 22. So we go up here, Sage. My son's videoing, by the way. So that's the size that the 22 made. Okay, pretty small, size of a pinky. And that's roughly three quarters of an inch wide. So if you're shooting snakes with the 22 alone, you're gonna have to be pretty accurate, okay? All right, and then we come back over here. So this is the, um, the CCI one. That was really quiet. And once again, wow, that's actually better than the nine mil. So you see here, the group pattern. So the far left is here, far right spot right there. That's probably about five inches. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 ish roughly of all those little bitty beads in there that hit it all right and because it doesn't have a lot of power it didn't cycle so i had to manually cycle that one all right and this is the bird shot okay make sure we got it in there actually let's get another well i'm gonna grab another plate so we'll keep hold on to this one okay now get another plate then we can compare the two. <clears throat> so this is just the roughly, and I'm aiming roughly about where the body is. So this is the 25 grain bird shot. And that didn't have enough power. It was crimped with all the shot inside of it. So that didn't have enough power. And there you go right there. To my, still about the same as the uh, the CCI stuff. So you probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you had a little bit more than the, into this one. So we'll go over here on the table. All right, so everything's clear. So so this was the uh, CCI one. Okay, the mini shell. That was this one. Okay, and then this one was the bird shot. So as you can see, you know what I'm saying, the difference. So it's roughly, you know, it is, it is what it is. All right, so now I got my, um, rough rider. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to do the CCI one, or the first one is gonna be the um, Federal, okay? All right, let's say I gotta get them lined up just right. All right. All right, so let me get my plate first. All right. Because we all know what the 22 looks like. So this barrel is a little bit longer than the Glock 44 barrel. Oh, that's why I forgot this thing. It's got a safety. It's actually got a, a thumb safety on there. So, so you got to take the safety off, and then you can open that up, and then turn the bar turn all the way back around. Oh, missed it again. There we go. Close that. Safety off. Single action only. And look at that group and it's rough i'm pretty much staying in the same spot but look at that group that's a little bit better to my that's three to four inches and the more, as you can see 
in front of nine mil and everything else, you got a better group. And that's all because of a little bit longer barrel. All right. And the next one is going to be the uh, the mini shell, the shot shell stuff. Look at that. So, out of all these, I would say I'd rather have this than the nine mil or the um, the Glock 44 as far as using snake shot because you ain't got to worry about it cycling, but this is. So, so you see, it's all staying in that same group and I was aiming here, just like the rest of them, I aimed there and that's where they hit. So here we can go over here to the table real quick. So as you can see the difference, if you want to come over here, so you have, we'll go back over it real quick. So this is nine mil ball round and this is the nine mil shot shell. Okay. This is a 22 regular ledge round and this is the uh, CCI mini shell. And then that is the 25 grain bird shot, which is a little bit better than shot shell. Okay. And this is out of the, the Rough Rider and it's pretty much the same pattern with the mini shell or the, the shot, the mini shell thing, shot shell and the 22 bird shot. So it's pretty much the same. All right. So, all right. So now we're going to move over to the Rossi and I got the 20, the, the, we're going to go ahead with the 22, what you call it, shot first. So I get my target. I normally use these in my 1022 Ruger, but I have to cycle the action on it because of the fact that it does it have enough power to cycle it all right so got it up there so my marks right about here so cock it there's there's a safety so take off safe and i can reach out there like this get a little bit closer look at that about the same shot pattern and this is the capsule that the shot's in right there so it's kind of like the wide or whatever in the um, shotgun shells. So there you go. So there's that one. So go over here and I'm gonna get one of the bird shots. Okay, bird shot. So roughly same distance. And the cool thing about this, you get your muzzle out there closer. What do you think? Think we should put a different one out there? Let's put a different target out there. So there we go. But this thing was what was it? It was like 200 bucks at my local uh, outdoor store. There we can do it side by side. So got my distance. So you can reach out there for that snake. Take the safety off. So they're about the same as you can see the two so this is the bird shot and the one over the next one over to the right is the shot shell so there you go so that's that so last but not oh so i'm going to switch this over to the 410 so make sure it's empty close it put it on safe okay so you unscrew this all right, this is the handguard. And this is really small. It's more of a, um, like a youth model, but I've shot it. So actually you gotta break it down. Actually no, unscrew this. This comes down and off, slides forward. You press a little lever for the brake action. Take that off. Take the 410, stick it in there. Cause it's got like a little half circle and it sticks into there. Slide it on there, you gotta get in there real good. Lock that, take it, stick the back end first. Kinda get your front end going. The front of the four, four, four. 
guard, whatever you call it. So there you go, got that. All right. So you saw how the 22 did, right? So this is a four, this is 410, number six shot, two and a half inch. All right. So it all safe. So it's gonna be rough about the same distance. So you reach out there like with a 410 like that, you see that snake, a point that I'm gonna go for the target on the right and I'm trying to aim with the bead dead center. Wow. So yeah, that's way better than all the other stuff. However, this is significantly louder than the 22, as y'all can tell. But you can see all the shot went there and this is where the wad hit. And you can see how it's beat up the ground already. So if you're going for a snake, you could be what with that 410, you could be way further back. A safer distance, talking about copperhead, whatever, rattlesnake, whatever you got. And you just put that bead right there on it, right over the barrel and pow. Here you go. All right, so that's that. So now my last one is what I'm always carrying. I come out here in the back as you can see here on my side this is my judge and it's a 410 it's a 410 but it's only a two and a half inch i wish i would have got the um, the three inch because you have a better selection of bullets so i'm gonna go with this so i'm gonna hold it down like that so rough about the same distance you now you're not walking around and see a snake you just pull it out and you can either go double action or single action all right, so here we go. And look at that. So you wanna see the difference in the, sh the shot pattern. There's your 410, was it like a 16 inch barrel or so? Right, and that is the judge. So I would rather be shooting at a snake with this, but the judge, as you can see, it's on my hip. That little 410 Rossi rifle. Yeah, it ain't that big or it ain't heavy or nothing, but if you're out on a tractor or something, you can do that. But just walk around the woods, it's, it's your own thing. So like I said, you can see the difference as we went. So you can see the nine mil, the ball round, and then shot shell from it. 22 and the shot shell. And this is also the Glock 44 with the bird shot. This is the Heritage Rough Rider. And you can actually swap the cylinder out and shoot 22 mag in there. So that's pretty much both of those. You could cover it with your hand. That'd be good for snake as well. To my, let like roughly 200 bucks for those for this and for the Rossi. And then that's another one. That's the uh, 22 out of the Rossi. A longer barrel as you can see that it ain't that big of a difference so th the pattern shot pattern ain't that big of a difference so and then this was actually no that was a second that was the bird shot out of the rough rider this was the bird shot out of the rossi and this here was the 410 out of the Rossi. And this, come out of these plates, that's the 410 number six out of the Judge. So that is that. Like I said, it's a whole slew of guns. We tried a few different things. You know, a, a few different types of guns, a few different types of ammo. They, they do have stuff like 45 ACP and stuff like that. 44 mag, 357, 38, stuff like that. You can make your own shot or you can go buy it. It's actually cheaper if you make your own, but you have to figure out how to make it. And for the most part, most of them won't cycle in an auto loader. As you see it did in the, the um, call this my steel city, because it's a steel city slide. So you can see the difference. So yeah, um, no, I'd like to hear like your comments and everything below. So you know, leave your thoughts.
any recommendations on any other videos and i'll try to get those do those for you but um yeah i'm getting ready for this whole isaiah or izzy ass or izzy ass or is ass or what how you say it freaking storm so we'll see so uh stay safe america stay strong and god bless